All right, this has 2,000. Has already been turbocharged and needs a little bit of, as we say, a TLC. Some of the things we're going to do here. See these wastegate tubes, the dump tubes. First off, they're open and they're just laying around with these. We actually noticed one of these is cracked, which is that one right there. I think it's that one. So these hoses we're going to address. Wastegate hoses are just sitting there. This one's tight. This is the wrong kind of hose. I see all this stainless hose is just wrapped all the way around everything. See how tight it is through there. Turbo line. It's way long. There's nothing supporting it. And the catch can right here. Looks nice except this hose is laying right on the throttle. This is not good. This will cause a problem. So this has to be shortened. Get this away from that. We're going to make everything black just like that so everything matches. Everything looks better. Also back here, this is the manifold. See how close it is to the AC lines? These are the two lines right here. See how close this is? Well, we're going to build something to keep the heat away from those. If not, the AC is not going to work and it will damage the AC system. Going through this car here. Uh, this was the oil feed, which this is a ball bearing Garrett turbo. This is some of the washers that they put on there, but they basically used a banjo bolt. And there is no restrictor in this. And the Garrett turbos do require a restrictor, otherwise you will blow oil by the seals. This here is the actual Garrett restrictor. And it's the one that they sell designed for the turbo. So that's another issue we're going to address on this car. Let's relocate this. This is the oil cooler. The radiator already has the condenser in front of it and the intercooler which is big. This is just restricting airflow and doesn't need to have a direct air source for what this car is doing. We're going to be changing the fans. It's got some cheap eBay slimline fan that's not going to be strong enough. But we're going to relocate this so we've got more airflow that can go through here. Uh, we're going to be putting this over in this corner. This is the faster side of the car here. We're going to mount it here. Also, you notice here, this one of the charge tubes, it's not bead rolled, which means it will blow off under boost. And also, uh, it's got a raggedy edge there, which is loose material. It's not good. So we're going to go ahead and address that too. Another you know, charge pipe came off the car. It's got a bead on this side, but on this side, not only is it not beaded, it's a terrible cut. It's got a lot of raggedy material that could end up going inside. In fact, that doesn't look good in there, does it? Alright, this one of the pipes are fixed. It seems like we've got to fix all of these pipes. A lot of these turbos will develop like an oily residue in here and it will find its way into the silicone connector. When this blows off, usually it's behind the bumper and it's never the easy one to fix. So to prevent this, you put a bead on here. And you see we've cleaned up that pipe where it had the raggedy edge. So we're having to do this with all this pipe and this is just terrible. We see it a lot. Fix the test pipe. It used to look like this here. Pretty nice test pipe. I wasn't sure that we could make it any better, but I think we did. 